Hi, this is Clarissa with Love Fearlessly. I've gotten a lot of questions about my prayer closet and I wanted to show it to you all and just talk about how it even came to be. So back in December of 2023, I was really wanting to have a space in the house that was dedicated to just me and God, a place where the children were not necessarily in, a place that it wasn't for my husband that was shared with him, just a place where it was just me and God <laughs> when I needed it to be. And I was able to turn this wall that's in our closet into my prayer wall. And while going through that, I wanted to fit a chair in here, this big chair that you see. And I remember for the longest time, at the time I was looking up how much chairs cost and the chair was like $250, $300. And it was Christmas, gifts were supposed to be given at the time and I just really did not have it to spend. And I remember sitting there feeling really defeated about my prayer closet and I just finally decided that I wasn't going to worry about it anymore and I just kind of gave up on the thought of having a chair in this prayer closet. I was like, I'll just get whatever chairs in the house and, or get a plushie and sit on the floor or something. So I remember going to Bible study one night and the lady who hosts the Bible study, she asked if I wanted a chair for my children. And I remember thinking, my children don't need anything else in their room. They have enough. And so at first I declined the offer because I thought it was just a little rolly chair or something. And the Holy Spirit told me to go look. So I was like, well, let me go look. And I went into her garage and I see this huge chair that would have fit perfectly inside my prayer closet. And I was so excited when I saw it. And when I told her, I looked at her, I said, oh my gosh, that is exactly what I've been looking for. And I was telling her how I was creating this prayer closet. And she was like, oh my gosh, amen. And it's just so awesome to have other ladies who are believers around you. Um, I don't know where you are in your walk with Christ and what you were doing, but surrounding yourself with other believers and people who are encouraging and positive is so, so important. And I would totally encourage you to find your community of people um that's usually in your local church find the church that you know works for you but definitely find your community of people find the people who are going to help you on this walk who are going to encourage you and be positive and speak life into you it is so so important and i think that friend she knows who she is who gave me this chair and i thank her so much for allowing me to have this chair she was just giving it away and she doesn't know how much she blessed me and god just works in mysterious ways because i didn't even tell god that i wanted this chair i just was frustrated that i couldn't find this chair and instead of consulting him i just gave up <laughs> on even the idea because i was like what whatever i'm not gonna worry about it but God had already worked it out for me. Like he wanted me to have this space to be able to come in and worship and praise and have intimate time with him every day. And he had already worked it out. Like <laughs> he literally is such a good God and he always works everything out, especially when you're trying to give glory to the kingdom, when you're trying to do things for his kingdom, especially when you're trying to do things with him. So I would definitely encourage you, whatever you are looking for from God, ask him for it. Seek him, ask him for the things that you want and they'll be given to you, especially if it's according to his will and purpose for you. Like ask God, let him give those things to you. If that's really what you want, that's really what your heart desires. He'll give you the desires of your heart. Just just know God is so good and he is such an amazing God and seek him. The things that you want, the things that you feel like you need, seek him, ask him for it. He'll provide it, especially if it's according to his will in Jesus name. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening to me today. 
and I hope to see you guys again soon in my prayer closet. Bye.